and I've been an active advocate for my community for over 15 years. Not only have I fought to ensure we have a voice on the many complex issues that affect us, such as same-sex domestic violence, sexual identity and suicide, and the lack of support for our young people, but I lecture and facilitate workshops which teach dykes how to become confident sexual beings, how to get their sexual needs met, and how to explore alternate relationships which best suit them. I'm currently the president of the Order of Seven, which is the first genderqueer motorcycle club in Australia. Previously, I served as president of Dykes on Bikes Queensland for five years. I volunteer on the Brisbane Pride Committee, and I am a life member of the Gay Lesbian Welfare Association for outstanding service in providing training to their telephone counsellors. I was extremely honoured to win the Volunteer of the Year Award in 2009. But I'd like to talk today about the evolution of our community and our future direction. When I was a baby dyke some 17 years ago, I was extremely fortunate to be taken in by a group of strong, individual and outspoken dykes who taught me to get out there speak my mind, be proud of who I am in my community, to never let fear and self-esteem stand in my way and to make sure that I'm seen, heard and felt and above all, to burn my own path. Well, I feel that I've done exactly that. To be honest, I can say to you, I've never been a victim of homophobia because I present strong, and I am out and proud of who I am. I've lived a life which to me has been an absolute dream come true. If I share some of my adventures with you, you'd think I was making them up because they're just so mind-blowing. I have done, participated in and experienced everything I've wanted to do without fear or restriction. I am surrounded by amazing dykes and boys who remind me every day what real loyalty and camaraderie means and of what really matters in this world. And I am very proud to stand alongside them. Unfortunately though, I've watched my community in the past 10 years assimilate with heterosexual community in a vain attempt to be accepted. For the most part, we now look, live and act heterosexual, even to the point of wanting to emulate patterns and behaviour such as marriage, which don't even work for heterosexual people. As a community, in my opinion, we are no longer visible or vocal in a strong, meaningful way, which I believe we need to strive for. Had we not been visual and vocal in 1978 and through the following two decades, when our elders shouted for change and challenged age-old beliefs, then where would we be today? In fact, I would go as far to suggest that more than half of our community would not really know much about our history at all, or the struggles and brutality our sisters and brothers faced. Here we are in 2010. Are we shouting for our young people? and for those yet to come? Are we visible, vocal and united today? And do we stand proud, honoured to be surrounded by our brothers and sisters? Or are we living our lives in isolation, only capable of meeting others via the internet, which can disguise who we really are? Going from one relationship to another in the dysfunctional world of serial monogamy, in an attempt to feel loved and validated? Are we too preoccupied with trying to be the perfect lesbian, looking perfect, acting perfect, yet heavily using substance to give us the false courage we need to even go and speak to another woman? And do we discriminate against those who are different? Out 
outside the perfect mould, those from different cultural backgrounds, those who are into leather or BDSM, those who choose to be single and just want to have casual sex, those who are butch or identify as boys, those who are confident and outspoken and those who are our community leaders. Ask yourself, where are we leading our community? What do you do to ensure visibility? Are you confident, strong and outspoken, loud and proud, and are you burning your own path and a path for our young people to look up to? Stand up for God's sake and put your energy into building up and strengthening our community. Learn what old school values really mean. Get involved, don't just take. And instead of wishing you could do something, get out there and do it. The only thing stopping you is you.